Hey, I'm here with a new product from Distant Extremes. It's for the Dodge Caliber SRT4. Um, this new kit uh, will work with this car to where uh, it, it won't let any blinking happen. Usually when I put other HID kits on, um, the lights at night will blink and it's like a strobe effect. It's because of uh, something to do with a program in the computer. Um, well, Distant Extremes has fixed that. Uh, with this new harness that they made. If you want to see it here, it has these uh, two gold 50 watt resistors that go to the high and the low. And what that does is it sends a signal back to the computer, tricking it um, to where it won't make the lights blink. So pretty much today, I'm gonna to show you how to install this kit the correct way and uh, get your Dodge Caliber SRT4 for your HID kits to work. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take off uh, this uh, cover and that's just going to make it a lot easier for us uh, to mount. All right now with your kit um, it's going to come with some brackets that you're going to hook up your blast to. It's going to make it a lot easier just like this. It's going to make it a lot easier to take the mount. The okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the blasts. Um, best part was kind of above the light to the corner here. Um, if you zoom out just a little bit there's already a bolt that you can take out that was under here. We're gonna take this bolt out and we're gonna secure it so we don't have to drill any holes. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing to the right side. Okay, now this is the passenger side light bulb. This is gonna be the hard one. You can get it and I'm gonna show you. Uh, pretty much you're going to want to unplug, okay? And what makes it hard is because this thing, this windshield wiper um, container or whatever here is just in the way. So I got huge hands. So if I could do it, I think anybody can. So get your hand down here, twist. There you go. So there's the bulb. New. So pretty much you're going to want, see these three pins right here, you got a, a, a larger one, and the two small, so you're going to stick it in to this light, stick it into where it goes flush with this red seal, and you're going to turn clockwise, okay? And that's going to make your seal so you, know, you don't get condensation in there. Alright, this is going to be tricky here, but I know I can do it. Again, try to make sure the light bulb doesn't touch anything. And now your kit's gonna come with H13 high low bulbs. Um, really easy to install, just like the OEMs, except these are a heck of a lot brighter. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a tough fit. Best thing to do, don't touch the bulb with your hand. Um, just make sure not to try not to touch anything with the ball. All right, so for the resistors here, um, the best place that I'm going to put them is on this front bar. Uh, on the back side, we're going to drill. The best is a one eighth hole. Um, we're going to put them on the back side here, nice and neat. So pretty much put these where you want, uh, mark the holes, go ahead and drill. All right, now with the 50 watt resistors, um, they get pretty warm. Uh, they can get as hot as a regular, regular uh, halogen light bulb. So pretty much the best thing to do is try to keep it uh, away from anything plastic. It's not going to like melt or anything like that, but it gets pretty hot, just on the safe side. So what I did here, and you can do it two different ways. Um, I did it both just to show you. 
um, I screwed them in um, and then also I zip tied them I like the zip ties just because it's neater keeps everything nice and flush and I put it on the front bar here okay so now we're gonna hook everything up um, we have everything pretty much where we want it to go so you're gonna get the original wiring harness that's already connected to the car okay now on the uh, 50 watt resistor harness that it comes with okay there's two pieces these are the two pieces and two plugs all right this one kind of has like a yellowish okay it's bigger you're going to want to get the smaller one plug it in to the original okay so there's one all right now for this one This is, uh, this is the EZ by Axion controller, okay? This connects to your blasts right down here. I'm just running it kind of through. Uh, and we'll make sure that we get this nice and, and neat and zip tie everything and make it look good right now, just showing you how to connect. So, you have two end pieces. This is from your blast. This is your controller. Hook them up together, okay? You have your light bulb that's already in. Now we're gonna get connect all these. And we're gonna do the same, connect everything else on the other side, exactly the way I did on the passenger side. Now we're going to go ahead and put our plastic pieces all back on and just put everything back together. Alright, so we're all finished up here. Um, tonight we're going to take the car for a drive. I'm going to show you that uh, the lights do not blink. Alright, so here we are with the lights on. As you can see, no flickering. They're incredibly bright. Um, I've been driving it now for probably about 15 minutes. Haven't had any issues yet um, with any fl uh, flickering or anything like that. So, I mean, the lights are definitely holding up very well. I'll just uh, let this run for a little bit so you can see that they are not gonna flicker. high beams stupid bright <laughs> same thing no flickering they really look great I mean you can see everything I mean I haven't even adjusted the lights up if you wanted to you could probably even see even better but I mean there's no reason and back to regular I'll go ahead and go down this road a little bit more kind of I mean like I said you can see incredibly well high beams again close so there you go actually some lights that work for the, the SRT4